two, three, two. Hashtag your pace at Blair Imani at NBJC on the move. Hashtag verse TV 232A. Coming out day is coming up, but is it still relevant? So coming out is short for coming out of the closet, which means to openly declare that you're part of the LGBTQ plus community. I've come out at various points in my life to myself when I was eight years old, to my mom when I was 15, and to the entire world back in 2017 on Fox News, which I don't recommend. And I think on balance, being an open bisexual woman has been a great experience, but I have experienced backlash. I don't often discuss the more difficult aspects because I don't want to discourage people from coming out. But at the same time, I don't want to feed into this privileged narrative that you have to come out if you're part of the LGBTQ plus community. I mean that why are we as a society forcing people to tell us when they're not straight or cisgender instead of not assuming that in the first place? The fact is we live in a deeply homophobic and transphobic society. So why are we encouraging people to come out of the closet even if it might put them in danger or complicate their life? I think that for a lot of us, the encouragement comes from us wanting people to be proud of themselves and to love who they are. But coming out isn't that deciding factor. You can love yourself and all of your queerness and transness and the only person who might know is you. Instead of coming out, which puts the onus on LGBTQ plus people, the National Black Justice Coalition created the term inviting in. You do have to be invited into other people's lives. You don't have an entitlement to that. Inviting in gives LGBTQ plus people the power to decide when and with whom to share about their sexual orientation or gender identity, or in the case of being intersex, their sex traits. If you feel compelled to come out this year or to invite people in, I hope it's on your terms and because you want to do it, not because you feel forced to. You're not living a lie. You're not hiding your truth. You're just being you. And that's enough. Last words she said was, and that's enough. Yes. So I will say, first, I want to say uh, thanks to her for being openly bi because a lot of, but that's part of the reason that bisexuality is not yet fully or more understood because bisexual people won't come out as bi, that that's a necessity. So thank you to I Imani for that, yes. And what I, the main stuff I wrote is yes, it is a privilege to be welcomed out. I am glad and grateful that I was welcomed out when I came out to my family. Kevin, you too were welcomed out when you came out to your family. And we, having that privilege, need to acknowledge that not everyone has that privilege that is of being welcomed out. So it's, it's important to also acknowledge if you are someone who lives at home with family and you kind of mostly think that your family would freak out when you come out to them, don't come out to them until you have an actual method, nope, an actual presence of being able to financially support yourself. Yes. And that connects, yes, thank you. And that connects me to a guy that I dated, a gorgeous thick light chocolate guy, um, right after college actually. And um, he, part of his concern was, he said that he felt all gay people needed to go through the stress and struggle and strain that he went through because he came out at a young age and his family kicked him out. And he had to live on his own from that young age. And it's like that kind of stuff messes with people. So no. Not some abstract, well, I guess if I come out to them and they kick me out, I guess I'll work a minimum wage job 40 hours a week and quit school. It's like, no, 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 no. That's not going to do it. That's not going to cut it. So hold off. Hold off. You can wait. Hmm. Sometimes people find out. And, uh, oh, I have a million stories. A billion stories. <laughs> But I, I'll just say sometimes people just find out. And I love the idea of inviting in. I, I, th I think that's a beautiful way to word it. Uh, it's not coming out. Now, there's, I, I'm not saying coming out is a bad thing. 
I'm just saying I like inviting in even more. I'm inviting you deeper into my life because that's what it is. You're inviting people in. And there are some people who I do feel that it would be better. Oh, my gosh. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Kevin. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use the rest of your anyway. <laughs> uh, um, well, all right, first off, um, one, she made excellent points. That's just flat out. Um, but one thing I definitely said at first to myself, but then to others years ago, I mean, years ago when I was a teenager, the thought I had in my mind was that really, when it comes down to it, the most important put the most important person to come out to is yourself first just accept it it is what it is um and then you like when you accept yourself first that's the most important thing then you work on coming out to others now did it take me a long time? Uh, somewhat. <laughs> Depends on what you're talking about. Like, friends, I told friends when I was still a teenager, that was nothing. But parents, eh, like 10 years later. But that's just what it was. Did they care? Uh, no. <laughs> but yeah, told them later. And the thing about coming out, especially when you're younger, you got to really, really think about it and be strategic with the way you do it and that who you tell when you tell them. Those things are important. And that's what I have. Yes. And 